Hey everybody, today I want to talk about a product that Katie and I absolutely love and we think that every RVer, whether you're new or experienced, should give it a go. Uh, we know that if we knew what we knew now, back in the beginning, we would most certainly have had it with us uh, from the very start of our RV journeys. Now, as you can see, I'm here in our RV bathroom, and that's because the product that's got me so excited is an RV tank treatment that we use for our black and gray tank. Now, that product here I'll show you is Happy Campers. Um, now, we're no way affiliated with Happy Campers, the company. Uh, we will put a link in the description box that'll take you to Amazon if you wanna give it a go. And that link is an affiliate link, meaning that if you use it to give uh, Happy Campers a try, we will receive a small commission um, at no extra cost to you. But I just wanted to let you know that from the beginning. But before we dive into why we love it so much and how to use it, we want to start at the beginning. So when we first got our RV and started traveling, we used those little enzyme packets that you could pick up from Walmart or really any RV shop you could go to. Um, and there was major problems. Uh, one, when we would dump our RV tanks, there would be uh, smells in this, inside the RV. And really any time our black or gray tanks would get near or around three quarters full, uh, there would be smells that come in. Uh, on top of that, our sensors were basically pointless because they read full all the time. So then we moved on to a different uh, option, and that's the GEO method, which if you're interested in learning more about that, you can check out our video here. And we went with that method because af after all the research we had done, we had heard that it'll help clear up the sensors a little bit, and it'll dra dramatically decrease the smells in the tank. Now, both of those things it did, our sensors read better and the smells definitely didn't happen nearly as often. However, they did still happen. Like when I would dump the black tank and Katie would be inside, she'd notice a smell. And then she'd start to ask me, is this normal? And we got to the point where it definitely felt normal. Also, when our gray tank was getting close to full, but we just had a couple dishes to finish, uh, that would definitely bring out the gray tank smell also. So. Um, on top of that, there was a lot of times where we would need, you know, the water softener for the geo method uh, process, and it was hard to find because some Walmarts carry it, some don't, most grocery stores don't, and it's not really cost effective. So that's when Katie decided, all right, we had heard of this product a while ago called Happy Campers, let's give it a go. Now the main problem had been that wherever we were, we couldn't find it locally and we generally needed a tank treatment pretty quick. So once we got to the RV repair shop, we decided, okay, we've just started using this Amazon locker thing, which if you haven't heard of that, you can check out our video on that here. Uh, we absolutely love Amazon locker. But uh, anyway, we decided to use that to get the Happy Campers to us. And she went to buy the 60 gallon treatment, but it was a little too big to ship to the Amazon locker. So we ended up having to purchase the 40 gallon treatment. Now, once we got it, we realized that this is what we should have had from the very beginning. Uh, again, real quick, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can check out our affiliate link in the description box or um, you know, head over there on your own. But uh, once we got it, we realized that it's extremely easy to use. Uh, it's environmentally friendly and it completely eliminated our smells. When we dump, we don't smell it inside. Um, when we're squeezing in those last dishes, we don't smell the gray tank. Even if both of our tanks are full and we're driving to the dump station, we still don't smell anything. And our sensors are cleared up. They work really well. Now they work pretty well with the geo method, but they're still working really great with the happy campers. So overall, we're extremely pleased with the product. And uh, if you're dealing with any sort of smells when you're dumping or when your tanks are getting full, uh, definitely give this a go. But anyway, that about sums up why we're so excited because of everything we dealt with before. But let's go ahead and dive into how you use it. Um, we're gonna show you how we use it in our black tank and our gray tank, and we'll start in the shower with our gray tank. All right, as you can see, we are here in the shower. We have our happy campers. Uh, we have our container here, which is marked with a line that represents a gallon. Um, now, one thing to note here is that we are in the shower. Uh, a lot of people, and on the directions, it says to actually use your sink, where you can just add in a gallon of water, um, add in your happy camper, stir it all up, and then pull the drain, and it'll go straight down. We like to use the shower because it's right next to the toilet, and we can go ahead and handle the and black tanks right next to each other uh, real easy like that. 
Now, it's important to note that when you get your Happy and Happy Camper, you go ahead and read the instructions. Like you'll notice here that it says one scoop treats 40 gallons. So our tank's a little over 60 gallons. So the way we do it is we take and we put one scoop of Happy Camper in our container. Then we use our shower head with hot water and spray it in there until the Happy Camper is all dissolved up. And then fill it up to a gallon and then we drop it down the drain. Then we add half a scoop of Happy Camper and then half a gallon of the hot water, dissolving it all up and drop that down. Now, it's important to note here that we don't stir it, even though on the directions it says to stir. Now, the reason we don't is because the combination of the hot water and the pressure from our shower head dissolves the Happy Camper fully. Um, but on here it does say stir, so when you get this, go ahead and use your best judgment to do it. Uh, we are no way saying that this is the best way to do it. It's just the way that we found that it works for us, um, and it's the easiest way for us to get it done. Um, so like I said, use your best judgment there. Um, now, it's also important to note that before you add your Happy Camper and your water and all of that, you want to go ahead and put roughly about a gallon or two gallons of water into the tank before you add your treatment. So we've actually already done that here in the shower uh, and our gray tank. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to using the Happy Campers and putting it down into our gray tank. Alright, so now that it's in there and it's at the right level, the thing is, is you want to dump it down as quick as possible. So here we go. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and add our second dosage. Which is about half a scoop, and then we'll do about half a gallon. So we actually did a little bit more than half a gallon. Uh, generally, the rule of thumb is that it's better to have more water than less water. Uh, it says right on the label that you never want to add more than one scoop per gallon of water. So uh, just more water is better than less water. So we're going to go ahead and dump this down. Alright, so now I just got finished rinsing out the bottom of the shower. Um, again, we did that in order to make sure that if there was any water with dissolved Happy Campers in there still on the bottom of the shower, we wanted to make sure we rinse that down the drain. And uh, overall, we're done with the gray tank for now, and now we're going to move on to the black tank. So we are staring at our commode, and now it's time to go ahead and put the Happy Campers treatment into the black tank. And what you want to do first is you actually want to put some water in the black tank at the bottom. Uh, generally, we put about two gallons. Now, your RV may be different, but for ours, we found that as we fill up the toilet bowl, it equals about a gallon. So we do that a few times. Uh, but use your just best judgment. Just make sure to put some water down in the bottom before you add the Happy Camper treatment. But anyway, let's get into how we do it. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill up the toilet bowl a little bit with some cold water. Now that we have a decent amount of water in there, we're going to go ahead and grab our scoop of Happy Camper and dump that in there. Now this next step we do because we found that hot water helps dissolve the Happy Camper a little bit easier. So we just add a little hot, hot, uh, hot water in there. Now sometimes we'll boil the water and then we'll let it sit for about five minutes. But our water in our, uh, from our hot water heater gets pretty hot so sometimes we'll just use that. Uh, but now that we have that in there, we'll take our toilet brush and go ahead and stir it up a little bit. 
And during this process, you might as well clean your toilet uh, while you're getting ready to sanitize your tanks as well. Now that we have it stirred up pretty decent, we'll go ahead and pour the rest of the hot water right on top. So now as you can see down in there the happy camper seems to be all dissolved it looks like we have a little bit still on the bottom so I'm going to stir it up a little more. There, now it looks to be all dissolved, so we'll go ahead and drop it down into the black tank. And now that we've dropped it down in there, we go ahead and run a little bit of extra water just to put right on top of what uh, the treatment we just put down in there. But that about wraps it up for the black tank. So now we've got our gray tank treated uh, through the shower, and we've got our black tank treated through the toilet. It's important to note here too that uh, like within the gray tank is that you don't want the happy camper to sit there for a while um, so it's important to flush it pretty much right after you've got it dissolved and uh, ready to go otherwise it will uh, solidify like we talked about before um, now if you do end up leaving it for a little longer than you'd like you can add some hot water and then that'll help it uh, re-dissolve afterwards but uh, just a note to to take into account all right, that about wraps it up for how we use the Happy Campers tank treatment in our RV. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we are completely satisfied with the product. We no longer have to deal with the stinky smells that we are having in our RV. Um, if you guys have any uh, RV tank treatments that you use that you're really happy with, or if you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave them below in the comment section. Also, if you're looking for a little bit more information, feel free to check out the link to our website and our post on Happy Campers in the description box, uh, as well as the uh, link to the product if it's something you want to give a go. But uh, other than that, that about wraps it up for today. Thank you guys for swinging by. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.